Hi guys, welcome to Public Connect Workshop. So in this video, we will learn how to integrate Shopify and Wave. Our use case is very simple. When a new order is made in Shopify, it will create a contact in Wave. Now Shopify is an e-commerce platform that helps you to create online stores. And Wave is an online accounting software. So what we are going to do is, we are going to send the data from Shopify to Wave. But there is one minor problem. Shopify and Wave are two different applications. Hence there is no data flow between them. That is why in cases like this, we need to bring a third app to connect them both. In this video, we will use Pabli Connect to integrate Shopify and Wave. And the best part of using Pabli Connect is, there is no need for coding skills or programming language. It can be done in two easy steps. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so to begin the process, first type pabli.com in your browser. pabli.com Press enter. Okay, so this is the website of Pabli. Here, hover on products and you will find the option called as connect at the bottom. Click on connect. Then click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have an account in Pabli Connect. You can build your own free account in just two minutes. Here, I would like to mention one more thing that Pabli Connect offers a plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. So if you want, you can create your own account now and set up your own automation. The link is available in the description box. Actually, I would insist that you try this automation with me. It's actually pretty fun. Okay, so scrolling down and you will find the option called as connect. Here, click on access now. At the right corner, you will find a button called as create workflow. Click this. So our dialog box appears in front of you. I'm going to give a name to this workflow. The name is Shopify to wave. Then click on create. When you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. Here in the choose app, let's make it as Shopify. In the choose method, let's make it as new order. Now new order is basically a trigger. So your obvious question is what is a trigger? Trigger is a if statement. It asks a question, if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if an order is created by the customer, then what action should be taken by the system? Actually, there are many more triggers like order cancelled, new customer, new collection, new cart and so on. However, in case if you want more triggers, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate for the specific trigger that you want to make. But at present, I am interested to send the data when a new order is made in Shopify. Okay, so in the choose method, we are keeping it as new order. So essentially what we are trying to do is we are trying to connect Shopify to Pabli Connect. So let me show you my Shopify. So since we are interested in integrating Shopify to Pabli Connect, let's go to this part at the left bottom. You will find the option called as settings. Click on settings. Then at the middle, you will find the option called as notifications. Click this. Okay, so this is the notifications page. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and you will find the option called as webhook. Click on create webhook. Okay, so this is the window of add a webhook. So we are going to add a webhook to this system. So in the event, we want it order creation, order creation. This one, where is order creation? Yeah, this one. The format will remain same as JSON. Now comes the most important part, the URL. To get the URL, just go to Pabli Connect and copy this. This is the webhook URL you want and paste it here. The webhook API version will remain same. Then click on save webhook. Okay, so it is showing the webhook has been saved successfully. Basically, it means that we have integrated Shopify to Pabli Connect. So let's see whether Pabli Connect can capture any data from Shopify. So let's go to Pabli Connect and click on this button called as Capture Webhook Response. Click this. Okay, so it is showing it is waiting for a webhook response. So let's create a dummy order in Shopify. Let's go to orders. Now let's go to our online store first. So this is our online store. So here is our catalog. And here we have some products. I'm interested in purchasing this product. I'm going to purchase as a dummy customer. Buy it now. So the email of the dummy customer is 
Jonita. Jonita123 word at the rate gmail.com. Something random that's coming to my mind. The shipping address is uh, ship. The name is Jonita. The last name is uh, Aaron. The company is uh, HJK Holdings. Something random that's coming into my head. Holding spelling is wrong. Holdings. Okay. The address is uh, S10, S20, or S12. RC total calculation was okay. So I'm basically now going to autofill all the response. 9131323915. Apartments would not really important. Then click on continue to shipping. Then continue to payment. Here I'm going to enter the bogus card details. The card number let's say is one. Bogus card. Bogus gateway or something. The expiration rate date is uh, 34 234 something random that's all and then click on pay now okay so the order is being processed let's see okay so jonita has purchased the product so it's worth uh, 20 rupees just click on continue to shipping okay so a order has been made by this dummy customer called as Jonita. So let's see whether Pabli Connect now it is integrated with Shopify has captured this response or not. So let's go to Pabli Connect. Yes, the data has been captured. The email is jonita 123 word at the rate gmail.com. The gateway is bogus and uh, this is the price, subtotal, where are the rest of the details like uh, address and all. Let's scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. So this is the t-shirt that the purchase she has made. Yes, these are the details, Parkington Street, Gold Bazaar, Bhopal and the zip code and the rest of the details. Okay, so we have collected all the data from Shopify into Public Connect. Now we have to sync this data to Wave. To do that, just click on this plus button. When you click on this plus button, another window opens up. This is called as the action window. Since we are interested in syncing all the data into Wave, in the Choose app, let's make it as Wave. In the choose method, since we are interested in creating a customer, let's keep it as create a customer. Now like triggers, if you want more action of your choice, you can contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com to build custom action for you. But at present, I am interested in creating a customer. So let's click on connect with wave. In new credentials, just click on connect with wave again. So it is asking for the permission. So let me tell you something. Pabli Connect doesn't take any chances with your data. Your data is 100% secure with us. So let's go and just click on allow access. So as you can see, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. The purpose of the blank is very simple. We are going to create a customer from the data we received from Shopify via Pabli Connect with the help of these blanks. For example, in the business, it is showing as Pabli. So let me show you my account so there are uh, two wave accounts i have pabli and personal so it's actually mapping that data pabli and personal so i am going to create the customer in pabli so let's keep it as pabli the customer or the business name so we are going to map in the detail okay that we have received from shopify so to do that just click on this button this is called as the mapping button so the company name was uh, hjk holdings click this and uh, Similarly, we are going to map in the name. The name was uh, billing name Jonita Aaron. No, yeah, the first name. Similarly, the last name was Aaron. Yes. Email, email, email. We are going to map in the email Jonita123 word at the rate gmail.com. Mobile. Did we mention the mobile or the phone number or anything? Yes, we had mentioned the phone number. Uh, since we have already mapped the mobile, we are not going to mention the phone number. Toll free number, not really important. Fax, not really important. Currency, I think it was uh, Indian rupee. Yeah, okay. So we are going to map in the symbol. Okay, remember this. We are going to map, we have to map in the symbol. Or in, since it is uh, Indian rupee, we are going to map it as INR. In your case, if it might be US dollar, so just map it as USD. Okay. So in the address line one, we had, uh, yes, Parkinson Street, address line to Gold Bazaar, city, city, city was uh, 
Bhopal. Okay. In the province name, we have to follow a particular set of format. For example, here the province name will come and here the city or the state or the country will follow. So I'm going to map in the country name that is uh, IN for India. What was the country name? No. Country, yes, country code, India. Then put a dash. Then I'm going to map in the province was MP I guess yes province code okay so basically we have to put in the country dash and the code of the province okay the country required is again we have to map in the province no the country as in codes for example the country it is showing as for Canada it is showing as CA okay since uh, Jonita lives in India we are not going to map it as India this is actually wrong okay we are not going to map it as India we are going to put in the short code for or the country code the country code was uh, in okay the postal code was uh, 39 something yes this is the building address zip okay so basically all the data all the fields has been filled all the required fields has been filled so let's uh, create a customer by clicking send save and send test request Okay, so the API response is showing the data has been sent to Wave. So let's check in Wave whether we have a customer called as Jonita. So we will find the customer in sales actually. So click on customers. Okay, so let's scroll down whether we find this person. Yes, we have a person called as Jonita. And uh, the company name is SJ Holding and this is the email. So if we expand it, we will find the rest of the detail. But the gist is uh, that we have uh, integrated Shopify and Wave via Public Connect. This means anytime a new order is created in Shopify, it will be reflected as a customer in Wave. So let's double check it if the integration is working fine or not. So do that. So to do that, let's create one more dummy order in Shopify. But before that, before that, let me show you the whole gist of the process. So I'm going to minimize this action window. And then I'm going to minimize this trigger window. Okay, so this is the whole gist of the process. First, you integrated Shopify to Public Connect. Then you integrated Public Connect to Wave. So now there's a perfect flow of data between Shopify and Wave. Okay, so let's create one more customer in Shopify. One more order in Shopify. So let's go to catalog again. This time I'm going to purchase cotton variables. Okay. So by now it's worth uh, two rupees. So the email of the person is uh, accr123 at the rate gmail.com something random that's coming the first name is uh, snoop snoopy okay that would do last name is derek snoopy derek derek holdings that's the company name the address is uh, srt village okay tamil nadu okay the rest of the details has been autofilled just uh, 9131323914 okay then click on continue to shipping continue to payment going to enter bogus card details bogus gateway 1034 234 pay now Okay, so it's showing that uh, Snoopy has purchased the order. Just click on continue to shipping. So let's see whether we have a person. Yes, we have a person called as Snoopy Tarek as our customer in Wave. So this means our integration is working absolutely fine. So whenever an order is created in Shopify, it will create a customer in Wave. Not just these two apps, you can integrate a plenty of applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com. Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or just visit us at www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.